In New Beginnings has been David Vincent's um, dream for a long time to develop uh, conflict resolution training. I got caught up in the second phase of the civil war in South Sudan and I was first trained as a child soldier and so in a sense um, all around me um, had been conflict and my experience has been uh, through conflict, through the war. I never thought there would be other way that I could respond to a situation that is presented itself to me. Conflict is a difficult subject. Attending to it as, um, as, best, as, you, as best you can is a, in a sense a way of breaking some of the habits that, that, that your exposure to conflict has created uh, and, and building new skills and building different habits and forming different approaches um, to dealing with conflict as it arises in life, as it does for everyone. This is how this program came up. I thought what I'd lack as a person is if I am in a situation of a conflict, what do I do? How do I react in that situation that I didn't have those skills? And so a new beginning came out from that experience of pushing me back and looking into myself, what are the important skills I should have to be able to resolve a very simple conflict or a very conflict conflict. Everyone could do with a bit of conflict resolution learning. Where people take it um, is really up to them, but at a minimum we hope that it gives them more confidence just to deal with conflict in their day-to-day -day lives. A lot of things that people face here, they move into a new country, a whole lot of things are new, culture is different, the environment is different, the expect of living itself, it's all different. And that difference is bring misunderstanding within the family. One is the bigger, uh, bigger, more a bit of a conflict, uh, complex conflict, and that is uh, domestic violence, which is very commonly within our African communities, even now in Australia. This training, what it does is, it gives people before that problem even gets to the police and then goes to the court, I will take them through a very simple process, a simple discussion that identified what is the problem, what has happened, how many people are affected and what can be done differently. And both parties can easily be involved in that discussion and draw out the solution even without it reaching the authorities. This uh, program, I feel, can solve uh, or can try to solve such a problem. So your response to those two different situations might be completely different. Or it might be the same. You never know. Especially for young people, I really want to help them if I have a chance. Especially creating understanding between the family because of the culture differences whereby the girls want to have a boyfriend, the parents don't want it that way, they need a guy to come home officially, sit at home. This is not how it is supposed to be done and this is not how young people, especially the girls, want it. So I need to see whether we can restore that culture of trusting each other and get connected and that's where I'm aiming to work on. One of the, the comments from the first group, um, one of the first group participants was that, well, he said, I've done conflict resolution, resolution training before, but it was nothing like this. The training I did was all about sitting there listening to someone talk all day. This training is about activities. It's about hands-on working together and workshopping ideas and uh, being active right through from the first from the first moment to the last, um, and I think that approach to learning has really um, hit a chord with with the participants who've been through this program. The main thing about the training is letting you look into the into the situation how it is and not being judgmental. It's it's more of creating the environment to reflect on yourself as a person, what it is and how can you make it better. I tell people most of the time it's empowering me to help others. It gives you the power and the confidence of getting out there and let people feel, yes, there's a problem, but how can we go about it? Empowering them, build that trust and a relationship. And that's what I keep telling people. It's a good training, it gives you the skill, it gives you the ability to realize that you have a skill that someone teaches you, you build on, and you will benefit the community. Everybody out there could benefit from it. By doing this training, it gives you an opportunity to look at the conflict all in general in a different perspective. Anybody can do it to benefit them, to solve even family, one-to-one uh, -one family problem. You can give them the skills to solve them. <laughs>